Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Uh, in a previous video, I showed you how you can install and enable uh, UFW as a firewall interface for your Arch Linux distribution. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can switch between the different firewalls, in particular from UFW to Firewall D. You can do the same way. If you want to move from Firewall D to UFW, you're free of course to choose whichever you like. So if you ever wanted to move from uh, Firewall D to UFW, you simply, uh, I'm gonna here delete UFW, you simply change instead of UFW Firewall D because I firstly installed UFW, in your case it's gonna be Firewall D, so you need to remove Firewall D and then go to the other video I will put it probably in the description or in the cards. You can go to that video and see how you can configure your UFW interface for the firewall. Uh, someone might say IP tables is enough, you don't need uh, UFW. I don't know, I guess some people disagree with say, uh, believing that IP tables is a firewall. It's a filtering tool, some people say, I'm not sure. Uh, and it's a little, its problem is that it's a little complicated to manage, so it's easier to use those firewall uh, interfaces, CLI interfaces, or if we can say the firewall themselves, the firewalls, like uh, UFW or Firewall D in general. Those are the most common used ones, as I guess, in Linux. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is removing the first firewall if we ever want to switch to another one. In my case, it's UFW. For you, it's going to be Firewall D. If you want to switch from Firewall D to UFW, we press Y. Don't forget to check the wiki if you have anything extra to configure or to manage. Okay, the extra thing or the good thing about uh, Firewall D is that it uses NF tables. NF tables is uh, more recent than IP tables. NF tables. Yes. So the next command is to run so the pacman dash big s firewall d so it pulled automatically nf tables and that's good because nf table sounds like it's more recent and it's recommended to use it to use it instead of ip tables i'm not sure if ufw is compatible with nf tables or not and nf tables uh, replaces ip tables you can yourself check more about IP tables and NF tables and if you want a video about managing them NF tables or IP tables just tell me okay so we install them when I say install them I mean the package of the firewall with the dependencies never mind it's not a big deal okay so the installation is being run When it comes to the size of the two packages, uh, UFW, if you don't want uh, uh, to take a lot of size from your disk, you should use UFW. If you want more comparison, you can look online or, I don't know, maybe I will make a full video about it. I will try to find all the pros and cons for each, uh, each firewall, and then I will post it for you. And then it's similar to UFW, somehow we need to enable the uh, service for our firewall D. This was the configuration, that is extra. This is the configuration for the previous firewall that I installed in the previous video. You can f watch that video. So we are just looking for enabling the service. In my case it's firewall D. And we can start it and enable it at the same time. Enter. 
and so far it's enabled now we start the basic configuration as I guess there, is, there are the zones you need to know what they are I forgot what they are exactly but each zone represents uh, I guess the connection is cut because uh, when enabled firewall D yeah this is what we were talking about in the previous video just because we enabled the firewall D connect uh, firewall D service it cut all the connections and closes all the ports which is good and bad if it if you are running your computer using SSH you need to find the screen and go to your uh, computer and connect the screen and then enable SSH again enabling it is just by typing firewall dash cmd space dash dash allow uh, dash port equal uh, 22 slash tcp I'll write it for you somewhere right my connection is cut ok I will pause the video and then I will be back to you alright I solved my problem I made sure that uh, SSH as a service is enabled on firewall D I checked also the public zones so first of all I just choose this one firewall CMT and for zone and then public the one that where you put your enabled services as I guess the ones where you want to open the ports it said it's public which is the default and then here it said that SSH is enabled and then the next thing I didn't need to run this I uh, ra uh, run the command which is firewall cmd odd service uh, ssh and then permanent this one is to make uh, to audit standby allow I forgot oh yeah permanent sorry for the uh, syntax here is wrong yes it's already enabled I got the same output I restarted the SSH D service still didn't work I uh, restarted network manager service didn't work also so I just restarted the whole computer and it worked it's a virtual machine of course so for now our uh, firewall D is almost there working configured you can check more in the uh, wiki of arch this has a thing that you this this one you may need to enable it it's worth enabling in some situations for me I'm not gonna enable it my connection works fine let's try to ping google working yes somehow it's slow I don't know maybe there is some problem with my router or I don't know so it's working as you can see but 0% packet loss now I guess the latency is because of the connection between my computer and this virtual machine it's an SSH connection that's why it was cut before so so far here we were able to install our uh, firewall D to enable it make it or activate it 
for you make sure if you are running an SSH connection and it's cut make sure you go to your computer itself whether it is in the same house or in the same place or in a, another place and then restart it because make sure also the SSH service is enabled and allowed to uh, open the port its port is open by enable it, enabling the service itself it's odd to the it's added <coughs> to the zone public zone the default one check also what is your default uh, zone you can add and delete the way you like and then you you are ready to like uh, to your firewall is good to go okay guess that's it for now thank you for watching and see you on another video